Welcome to part two of this question where we look at um, at cones, and this is a past paper question. Uh, so I, before I start, I want and I have to give credit to Cambridge uh, Cambridge examinations because this is their question. I did not create this, but one of my students has asked me if I could help with it because um, he or she had a problem with it. Okay, so we're just here to help each other with our maths. Okay, so a quick summary of the first part. Uh, we had to find um, the volume. Um, of the water cup head because this is a water cup which is a cone and then they kind of cut off the lower part so it has a circular base so the cup can stand on your table yeah and to find the volume inside uh, yeah, the water cup we found the entire volume of the cone then we took away yeah that part yeah, the volume of the part we're not interested in and then you're left with the volume on the inside okay the second thing we said, well, if the entire height is 20 and if that height is 8 then that should be 12 okay so we're going to continue now. It says, show that the slant height S of the cup is 8.2 centimeters. So they're going to give me, or they're giving me the answer. This is 8.2, and I have to show that that is correct. Now, there are several ways of doing that. Um, I'm just going to do the way that I think is, uh, yeah, is easiest. Because I'm going to have a look again at the entire cone, because I can make some sort of right angle triangle there. You see that? And um, if I sketch that here, and that's a little bit difficult, at least I think it's difficult to sketch on a tablet, but okay, that's, that's pretty awful actually, but okay, that is a right angle triangle, and that is the same as this right angle triangle. Then this length is 20, and this length is the radius of that top circle, so 4.5. So I'm just going to put those values there, 4.5 and 20. And then I can see, well, it's the hypotenuse, eh? the side across the 90 degree angle. That's the side I'm looking for, or the one I can calculate. And that's going to give me the entire length here, the slant height of the entire cone. Now, that's of course going to give me an answer bigger than 8.2. But I can do the same thing for this slant height because I can create another right angle triangle yeah if I go in that direction let's say that is there and the radius there is 2.7 and the height is 12 so basically I've created two right angle triangles a big one and a smaller one okay so I can find the entire hypotenuse of the big right angle triangle well, then I can find the hypotenuse of let's say the smaller right angle triangle and if I subtract those two values I'll be left with the slant height of the cup so this length take away that length will give me the slant height okay so I've analyzed the problem and that is super important there guys do not just jump in a question and start calculating. Always analyze first. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So I'm going to do the bigger one. Um, so I'm looking for the hypotenuse. So 20 squared plus, uh, what is it? 4.5 squared. Now, always take the square root of that, of course, because it's C squared of 420.25, and that is 20. Point five. Okay, so the entire slant height is 20.5 and indeed and that makes sense that is more than 8.2 and I'm also going to put that information here because you never know when that becomes useful eh? and that only takes a few seconds. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to calculate this uh, the hypotenuse of that right angle triangle so <clears throat> a squared, excuse me, let me just put a line there, a squared plus b squared equals c squared again. I'm looking for the hypotenuse, so 12 squared plus 2.7 squared, yeah, or you can turn that around, 2.7 squared plus 12 squared, it doesn't matter, as long as you identify the hypotenuse correctly, yeah, so the c, which is that length across the 90 degree angle. It's also the longest length of any right angle triangle. Uh, plug it in your calculator, 151.29. Yeah, and um, square root of that, 12.3. Okay, so how can I find now the, the slant height of the cup? Yeah, so let me put 12.3 here, by the way, 12.3. Now that is a sketch, yeah, the, uh, or all this information is for my own benefit. Yeah, so perhaps it's a little bit messy to you, but hopefully you can, you can follow what I'm doing. Um, I need a little bit more space. Can I, can I, yeah, okay, thank you. Um, there we go. Okay, uh, so what do I have to do now? So the entire 
slant height is 20.5. Take away the slant height there at the bottom, 12.3, and that equals indeed 8.2. And they told me the slant height of the cup is 8.2. And I have now proven that that is correct, yeah? So 20.5 take away 12.3 is going to leave me the length of uh, the slant height of the cup. And that is 8.2. And that indeed is what they told me it was going to be. Okay, fantastic. So we move on now to the next question. Um, there we go. And I just leave it like that. Put this one a little bit down. Look, guys, technology is good, but also sometimes a bit complicated. The next question... Uh, it says the following, calculate the curved surface area of the outside of the cup. All right. And they say the curved surface area, A, of a cone with a radius R and a slant height L is A equals pi R L. All right. By the way, guys, this is a five-point question. So don't expect this uh, to answer this in, uh, in one minute. That's going to take some time. Yeah. And always analyze the question first because some really important information here. They say... The curved surface area on the outside. So the outside. So we're only talking about, yeah, on the outside of the cup. Because, of course, it also has an inside, yeah, which also has a particular area. But we're only talking about now the outside of the cup. Something else important is they say calculate the curved surface area. So we're only looking now at... Yeah, what is going around, if you like, that is curved. So it does not include the base. It does not include pi r squared, the area of a circle. If they would ask, calculate the surface area of the outside, so if curved was gone, yeah, then you would have to do this area plus pi r squared. But now you don't do that because it only, they're only interested in the curved surface area. Okay. So that is very important. Pi R L, pi is a number, times the radius, times the slant height. And again, like we've done with the volume, the volume of the cup, which was the entire volume, take away the volume you're interested in, you're going to do a similar thing here. You're going to find the entire curved surface area of the entire cone, because this is a formula about cones, so we've got to work with cones. The entire curved surface area of the entire curve uh, cone, sorry, then we're going to take away or subtract that by the curved surface area of that cone we're not interested in. And then we will be left with the curved surface area of the cup, excuse me. Yeah? Did you follow that? I hope, I think you did actually. So I'm going to write the following down and I want you to have a look at it for a minute and see if you understand what I write down. I'm going to write down pi r l 1 minus pi r l 2. Okay, so I'm giving structure now to my workings, yeah? So the curved surface area of the entire thing, take away the curved surface area of uh, this little bugger, it's going to give me my answer, yeah? I'm just going to put in the numbers now, yeah? Because now it's, it's, it's substitution, pi times, what is the radius of the big cone, 4.5? And what is the slant height, L, of the big cone, 20.5? And now you see how important it is that you put in all the information in your diagram immediately, yeah? Because then you can easily access it later on in the question, okay? So this for a five-point question now, all of a sudden, becomes quite straightforward. Pi times, I'm looking at the smaller cone now, what is the radius? 2.7 times, and what is the slant height? 12.3. And always be aware, guys, that you get points for workings, yeah? So perhaps you're not feeling very confident well, of being able to find the correct final answer. But by writing down step-by-step -step some workings, you get points, 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 points. Yeah? And perhaps instead of five, you get four points, which also is an excellent result. Okay, you can work it out. Um, 92.25 pi minus, and I'm leaving it in terms of pi, uh, you could already multiply it by pi now if you want, but then you have to write down all those decimals. Yeah, and I hate decimals. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it in terms of pi, 59.04 pi. Then all the way at the end, now I'm going to multiply it by pi and, um, and round it correctly to three significant figures. And then, and I don't have a calculator here, and I have to guess now. What was the answer again? I think it was, or I'm pretty sure it was actually 185. And what is the unit then? Centimeters squared, okay? So that's your final answer. That is the curved surface area, okay? 
uh, of the cup. So let me really check again curved surface area. So we're not interested in the base, eh? so no pi r squared of the outside. So only the outside, not the inside. So I find it always by finding the entire area, take away the part you're not interested in, and then you'll be left with that part you are interested in, 185 centimeters squared. All right, that was it, guys. Um, Explainingmaps.com for more free resources, okay? Find me on Facebook or on Twitter. And I have to say, I uh, perhaps even apologize if my voice sounds a bit depressing yeah, or boring. That is because I all of a sudden had to go to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, okay? So actually for me right now, it is like three o'clock in the morning. Um, so a little bit tired, but I wanted to help you guys anyway yeah, with this question. Uh, and whenever you have a chance, look at this. This is a picture I took like five minutes ago. Um, beautiful, Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, great country, great people, great food. So whenever you have a chance, make sure you visit it. Yeah, and I say hi to all my students in Malaysia, and I wish everybody a very pleasant day. I'll see you later. Bye bye.